people so today we are going from Sukia to Pathos Island we'll be going to Pathos we'll go right here we'll go around and we'll be like anchoring over here there's a lighthouse here which is what we're gonna look at Bay. The one we saw yesterday on our drone last night, we actually docked. This is my favorite island. There is only two mooring balls and the bay is not a good anchorage as it's rocky bottom. It's an excellent place for camping as your campsites are private and has dense woods on one side and great overlook of water on the other. What's up people? So now it's our second day and we're still running our, our outboard on reverse. <laughs> we are now heading to the, the Patos Island, like I mentioned. Uh, there's a beautiful lighthouse here and we're gonna do a mini hike. Uh, I'll update you guys on that. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me in the mirror? Look at this, look at this pond here. There's absolutely no wind. It's like a mirror. I could see my own image in it. There's a huge current coming from this way. I was hiking up this trail. It's pretty dense. And now I'm in a spot like this. I don't know which one to take, whether this way or that way. I'm gonna try this way. Well, that path happened to be, it led to a restroom. But to be honest guys, I must get, it's, it's kind of funny and strange if I'm giving review for a restroom, but you know, in, in sort of national parks like this, most people would have noticed that restrooms are sometimes pretty bad but that's not the case here. So one thing I noticed, as you guys can see, uh, there's a great camping ground here. And if you guys ever camp here, the restroom is also kept clean. Uh, this is a must island, in my opinion. It's, it's not crowded, it's not, um, it's, you pretty much get the island to yourself. And, that's the best part in this and there's a beautiful lighthouse which I'm going to right now. I walked on this beautiful trail and that led me to the lighthouse. Canada and you can see the, the 
shipping lane the shipping lane that's the shipping lane that's between America and Canada and that's the sh we, we will be doing the shipping lane pretty soon